made today. Uh, we are learning, as I've said all along, and I don't mean to repeat myself, but it bears repeating, uh, that we are learning new information really as the minutes tick by. Uh, Mike Brooks um, is joining us, uh, formerly of the, uh, the FBI Joint Terrorism Task Force. He's been working. His sources has some new information. Mike, what do you know? Yes, Anderson, I'm hearing from uh, my federal law enforcement sources that of the seven I people who were Americans, arrested. one was an illegal alien from Haiti on a visa overstay, and the other one was a resident alien. We're still trying to confirm the exact country of origin from him. But uh, they're also telling me that they did not have any direct ties to Al Qaeda. They were Al Qaeda yeah, sympathizers. One of the defendants who was arrested this afternoon, who was still inside being processed before being taken down to the uh, federal detention center, we're being told by his family that he's a 32 year old guy named Nasir Baptiste. He goes by the name of Prince Manor, and he's one of the elders at this Masonic Lodge. Uh, that was raided earlier in the day by the FBI. That's where the five people were taken into custody. His family and friends tell us that he's a nice guy. He's a construction worker. He's they married. have no they... idea what he'd be doing with Al Qaeda. I've been knowing Northfield do better than five years. I never know him to get in any trouble. I never know him to have any problem with anybody. I always know him. He taught my son how to do karate. I have a son that is 18 years old. When he first met my son, my son was only... You don't think he's a